Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I promised I'd show you a workflow with Ignite just to show you how quick it is to write a track regarding my review the other day. And I said I'd show you how quick it is to write a track to get it out of Ignite and back into your, your door of choice. Now, most of us reading this blog are going to be Pro Tools users, so I'm going to show you using Pro Tools. But first, I want to show you the, why I love Ignite so much. So basically, Ignite doesn't have a linear timeline. Normally, with the door, you have a timeline and it goes from bar one all the way through to however long the song is, but this works in a much uh, much more fluid way. So what you have basically is you have this workspace here that will, you, will become apparent as I start to record stuff. So I've got a, this piano. And all these sounds are pretty cool. Now the cool thing is as well, there's players built in. So if I wanted to really quickly construct a track, let's say kind of a... It's kind of rock track, sort of something like that. And I could start to play something. So I like that, and I'm going to put that down so I get my, my, uh, my uh, record going. Now, if you watch now, it's not going to start recording until I start playing. So I'm going to stop that. That loop now plays. Now I add another instrument. Choose a rock kit. Turn that up a bit. I even like this in sort of invisible uh, set of faders that pops over the track. Now when I like that, put in record. I can record any time I like. Now the cool thing is that's now going to play a loop round. I'm going to add another track in. Put that in record. It starts when I start. So let's stop those for a sec, uh, and I'm going to quickly save that, and uh, I'm going to call it Ignite Idea for now, just for this. And what we're going to do now is going to add a bass guitar. There we go. Get a bass guitar. Choose finger bass. It's kind of like yeah. Start playing that along. Just put that into play again. Uh, So I've got an idea. Two, three, four. Start when I like. It's great. Now as you can see, they're all independent loops running around. I think there's a note somewhere here, there. As you can see, they're all there. Let's put one more in. Let's put a nice hammered organ in. Try this organ. Yeah, I like that. Remember, just put it in record when I like. It's waiting for me. Here we go. So they're all in now, and I've got those in. Let's just lose the mixer for a second. Let's 
Now what I can do then is start assembling those into some kind of uh, order. So what I could do, get these two to here, and I could make these into a, a little clip here, and just put those together for a second. And what I'm going to do is just double press Command D nicely, and now I've got this multiple clip. So. Now, but they're all playing independently. So let's put the bass in there now. We can name those. So we'll delete that now. Oh, so that's the kick, isn't it? Take these back out again. You don't have to name these, but I'm just doing it. Let's just stop it for a second while I'm just doing this and stuff. So I'm going to put the organ in here as well now. Put that in there. I'm going to put the grand piano in as well. And we'll just put that in as well. So we've now got this multi clip. Does double the length of that clip. Now we've created a song. Look how fluid that is. Now we've done that, I'm going to save that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to go door export here. Now there's two things. We're going to choose the song. Press continue. I'm going to send it out WAV 48k 24 bit. I'm going to go continue. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to go new folder. Ignite track. Put it in there, create, choose, out it goes, offline bounce, nice, avid take note, please. As you can see, they're all going out there in in faster than real time. So it's just pumping those all out now. And of course, I just doubled that clip, so I could have actually done this in half the time because I'm just getting an idea down. And the whole point of Ignite is to get ideas down quick, and then you can start powering up your door and start doing some cool things. So what I'm doing first is I'm exporting, and you can hear the sounds are pretty cool already. So I've got all those exported now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to this, I'm gonna go back to door export, I'm gonna continue. And I go, sorry, let's go back again, up one. I'm going to go to MIDI. Now I'm also going to send out the MIDI. So I've got a MIDI copy of what we're doing as well. Uh, there it is. And, and I'm going to go MIDI. Save. Continue. So if we look in the export tr Ignite track now, we've got the MIDI for that track as well. So let's open up Pro Tools now. It's here. Let's open the Ignite track. We're just going to grab this, grab all of these, and pull them in. There they go, into Pro Tools. There's all of our tracks in. Now bring the MIDI in as well. So there's the MIDI versions as well, which is really cool. Very nice. And we just get these back to tracks here. Get these the right loops. So if I wanted to, I could choose something now. All this MIDI stuff that's just come in. It's going to save that. And so we've done our job in Ignite, and now we're in here. We've got all the audio in. So I could come in now, and I could go track, new, stereo, instrument track. I'm going to come down here, pull that down. I'm going to go into instrument. I'm going to go to contact five and my super favourite bass sound, Mr. Scarby's Rickenbacker. Let's get the Rickenbacker open. Let's just bring that in the here, here now. Just load that in. So that's now in. So now we need to find the track that was playing the bass, which I think is going to be this one. Let's drop that in. That's the one. Let's just pull the volume down a bit. There it is down in there now, so I'm going to choose a different sound. I'll go for my Tweedman, which I like all the time. Let's just turn that down again a bit more. So 
So there I have now, I have an idea down very quickly, not been messing around with virtual instruments, and now I can start to add stuff in. I can have my vocals in, I can have some guitars in. So as you can see, very quickly into Ignite, do your stuff in Ignite, then back out to Pro Tools, and it's done. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and uh, hey presto. So I, as I say, love Ignite. If you're just getting quick ideas down, they can get into Pro Tools and start messing with it and start doing some cool stuff and some, some, some much more intense production work on it if I really want to. But as you can see, it's all pretty straightforward and all pretty quick. I've uh, put in my uh, comments that I'd like to see rewire so I could just rewire it in, which would be even cooler. But uh, for getting ideas down, Ignite and the workflow is really nice, then how about that? Hope this video has whetted your appetite. Download Ignite, it's free. So uh, if you don't like it, you can always ask for your money back. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.